That's a bit steep, Mo. All things considering. What are you talking about? Take her out for a try, and you'll see my Betsy's as good as new. It even has a name, huh? I'm out. Come on, don't leave just yet. Come back. Damn it. Hey, you. Can I interest you in a brand new car for sale? Finally, he's a man who can recognize a bargain when he sees one. Mr. That's the one, the one and only. And this one's Betsy, the most reliable friend you could ever ask for. And she's yours for just 1,000 tickets. An absolute bargain, if I say so myself. So, what do you say? Five hundred? You must be joking. I'll give you a ten percent discount, because I like you. How does that sound? You better be willing to part with more than that if you want my Betsy. Eight hundred. <sighs> fine, mate. Seven hundred is final, though. Now, do we have an agreement? Great. Huh? Yeah? Freedom. I make my own rules here. Living for the thrills, are you? You do whatever you want. Nobody can boss you around. Life's good. Except for one thing. You're lying to yourself. But as for me, nothing can stop me. Nothing at all. Not even the anomalies? No anomaly can stop you if you're fast as lightning and weigh a ton. No bullshit, man. I can share my secret with you. Just what are you getting at? Take a load off, bro. See that whip over there? That's my baby. She can get you to the cordon in 10 minutes. Or to the CNPP in 20. No mutants. No anomalies. Nothing can stop her. You want her? But can she survive an anomaly? Just put the pedal to the metal, and you'll breathe through any anomaly. Her paint's special, too. Then why are you selling her? I'm getting some new wheels. Why let this beauty rust out when someone else could take care of her? How much do you want? Look, buddy, I really like you, so I'm willing to give you a special discount. Mind if I take a closer look? Sure, go ahead. Just don't touch anything. Well, what about the gas? The car doesn't need that. I used to scrounge for gas, but I got a fuel regulator from some scientists. He uses carbon for fuel. It's all rusted up. Does it even start? That hurts, bro. This baby's 
sometimes like a bird. Ignore the rose, it's only on the top layer. It's a special coating to keep the body from wearing out. No credit, cash only. All right, I'm in. Great, it's a deal. The car's yours. Just start her up, and off you go. There's no key. Itching for a ride already, huh? Nah, bro. You gotta charge her up first. Just put an artifact on the hood and wait half an hour or so. Talk to you later, okay? Something you need? Oh yes, fully functional, drivable automobiles that come with a full tank of gas. Buy one today and greatly increase your odds of surviving this frozen hellhole. You can also purchase fuel and the parts needed to repair and upgrade your vehicles. And if need so, I can modify your vehicle for you. For a price, of course. Well, I got the three-wheeler. It's a small, compact car. It doesn't offer much protection, but it'll get you in and out of tight places. Then I got the buggy, a fast car. Great for traversing the wasteland or just getting you out of a dangerous situation. It can be modified with a buzzsaw turret to slice your foes in half. Then there's your run-of-the-mill van. It offers a middle ground between protection and getting you to where you need to go. It's also good for mounting a machine gun turret to the roof, in case you need to make some Swiss cheese. If you're looking for something with a lot more armor, the fire truck may be what you want. The hose can be easily modified into a flamethrower to help provide warmth to those freezing out there in the frontier. Finally, I got the treaded bus. It's a big, slow tin can with treads, but once you've got a missile launcher mounted to the top, you won't regret it. So yeah, there's ways to mod your tin can to make it last longer in battle. Armor mods will allow it to take more punishment, while damage mods will inflict more harm to anyone who gets in your car's way. But most importantly, you can mount a turret to most automobiles to turn them into killing machines. Each vehicle can only have a certain turret mounted to it, so bear that in mind when choosing one. Take your pick. Any automobile you buy will be full of fuel and ready to roll. Excellent choice. Your new ride will be waiting for you outside in a few hours. Something you need? Let me take a look at what you got here. Yeah, that tin can looks like it could use some upgrades. What do you want done to it? I'll have it ready for you in an hour. You need a ride? You... Let me take a look at what you got here. Yeah, that tin can looks like it could use some upgrades. I'll have it ready for you in an hour. Let's see just how good his vehicles are, shall we? Well, I must admit, it ain't too bad. Too bad it ain't Noonan's autos. Now try the other vendor at the gun runners. I hear they are stepping into the market too. You got the bee shitting me. So you're telling me we have this guy trying to sell cars and we got the gun runners trying to sell them too? This is just unbelievable.
Don't you dare look at me. Okay, well, maybe we need to get ourselves a little self-service terminal to help with car sales. You know, for the more cash in hand types. Okay, it sells busted up old rentals. Does it sell my signature highwayman? Let's see what type of armaments they are selling, so we can find out if we need to start shelling. What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> 